Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Stellaris Utopia. We are here above Tibor Prime, where we are attempting to take back our planets from Hejam. Uh, if you remember, we're in a war with Hejam. Uh, if, you, if you don't know that, you haven't been paying attention, because it's pretty much all we've been doing is the rest of the Empire flounders behind the, uh, the war. And actually, how is... now that I say that... This is our one place that's kind of doing its own thing. How's it going? So they are building... What's this? They've built their planetary administration. They're building some stuff. I don't know why they haven't replaced this yet. But uh, we may have to take over and tell it to replace these junky places. But they seem to be developing in the background okay. I might think about putting more... Well, if we can get more colonies, we'll look at adding more to the Outer Shell Territories. But, in our war with Hejam, I just noticed that the, uh, the United Rehanar Imperium, Rehanar Reborn, somehow took over this. They must have, they didn't colonize it, so they must have put a station here, is the only thing that makes sense. Uh... We're having to be very careful, because the Otago Battle Clans, who are right next to us, are also not our friends, and we don't want to get into a war with them. For some reason, we have made our buddies the Urexo Collective upset. What's the problem here? Oh, our border frictions. That's right. You know, why can't we... Like, let's communicate. What do we need to do to have Pete? Non-aggression pact. There we go. They are receptive. Let's form a non-aggression pact. This will... We will be unable to attack each other while it's in effect. Let's do that. Because it'll up uh, the how much they like us. Uh, form a non-aggression pact. Form a non-aggression pact with this empire. We will be unable to attack each other while it's in effect. They will increase their trust of us by 0 .50 each month. Up to a maximum of plus 50. Let's do that, and we can maybe offset our our problem as far as our border friction goes. Because I think that border friction is just going to grow as we expand. But we don't need any more enemies. We have enough. Everybody hates us. Except for the Sigma Enclave of Curators. They love us because we give them money all the time. All right. Let's get back to the war, shall we? We're here in Tibor. We are bombing this planet. We want to run down this planetary fortifications low enough. Uh-oh, something just happened. I heard... I heard spaceships. I thought I did. Let's get rid of this. Yes, we know we have unemployment. We have inactive buildings on Regime Prime. Wait, did we take Regime back? No, I can't take anything back until we take it back. Okay. That is what it is. Can't do anything until we get it back. Uh, the Uruxo Collective. We cannot see what either of us would stand to win from a war. We agree to enter into a pact of non-aggression. That is awesome. So, Tibor Prime, how fast is this going to lower? Let's speed up time a bit. That's going to be pretty quick. That won't take too long at all. I don't want to speed up time too fast. Because we are keeping an eye out for enemy fleets, but uh, we do have on Azure Prime a set of armies. Let's go ahead and embark our main military force here. So now they are in space. Let's send them to the Tabor Cluster, or the Tabor System. So that way, they are system right here. Complete. Ooh, Anomaly system survey. Found. We have detected... We have detected odd radiation from our science officer demands and investigate. That, I didn't even read that close to English. I'm sorry, folks. We have detected odd radiation that our science officer demands investigate. Well, Ethog, you are 83 years old. Check it out. All right, so... We need to spend a lot of time looking at this map again. We wiped out two of their cruisers. It's not good that we found out they have much higher-end ships than us. We wiped out two of their cruisers. 
which definitely helped us a tiny bit. I think taking this planet back would be very good for our troops' morale overall. Here come our ships. How is Tibor looking? Tibor Prime, almost ready to be invaded. In fact, we can take these groups and let's have them go into orbit. Incoming transmission. And we have a transmission coming in. Uh, we surveyed the Etoy system. Just that anomaly. Not much else out here. We have surveyed almost half the galaxy, though, which is pretty cool. We have that anomaly we found. M. Oh, look at this. We are having to spend all of our influence to tell them to get stuffed. Merciful aspects of the Great Mucus have prevailed. We offer you the, these peace terms. If we agreed, we would lose four of our five colonies. That ain't gonna happen. Decline. We are about to turn this war around, folks. It's about what's what's about to happen is gonna be great. I hope. Uh, with that in mind, what? Oh, sins of a sun. The ionizing radiation on EFOL 3 are off the charts. The planet seems to either have been bombarded with nuclear warheads quite recently or have been exposed to a concentrated beam of cosmic rays, perhaps from a nearby supernova. How the latter could ever be achieved is beyond science officer Ethag's knowledge. Uh, adds irradiated wasteland modifier, plus six radioactive wasteland blockers, but plus three sciences. So what's the surface look like? Oh, look at that. This place looks awful. If we lived here, we could easily remove all that, but this is not a planet upon which our people would survive, unfortunately. All right. Let's get back to Tibor here. Should be very close to being... Yes, we're ready to liberate. Let's land our armies and liberate Tibor. We need to take this back too. Let's take a look and see what the military status is here. It shows there are three garrison armies. So we will we'll need a couple armies to go there. Why don't we recruit those out of, yeah, Mucolonia. I mean, Gur in Mucolonia. Let's spend some money. One, two, three, four. We'll get a fifth army to send. Five seems to be about the right number. Ooh. We have received a communique from a previously unknown space freight empire that call themselves the Fafossan Sovereignty. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. Interesting. Federation Builders. Greetings from the Fafossan Sovereignty and our crazy hairdo. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens, regardless of their species. Our elected leader, President Claus of Ebony, hopes for a long and fruitful relationship with your people. Greetings! Hey, you know what? Before they start to hate us, how do they feel about us? We just met them. Here we go. They don't feel so bad. These guys don't have too much of a problem with us, actually. We could actually... We might be able to become friends with them. What would we need to do... To get them to be our friends. If we gave them our star charts. That would go up one. Okay. That's all the options we have with them. Never mind. But our new people that we have met. The Fofison Sovereignty. How do they feel about us? Our hive mind makes them upset. But they love aliens and we both have mutual threats. A non-aggression pack. Defensive pact. They are guaranteeing the independence of the of a small unidentified empire. All right, let's see if we can't be friends. What if?
Hmm. What if we gave them... Let's see, what can we do here? Will they trade with us? What about our star charts for their star charts? What about our star charts plus a little bit of food? What if we gave them... How much food, you guys? Are you hungry? I got food. Okay, they don't want food. They don't care about food. How about energy credits? There we go. I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and just see what, they're, what they can see out there. We'll give up a little bit just to see what's happening. Let's do it. Thank you. We'll see if they accept that trade deal. I hope they will. Because they have a lot of space. Look at this. They are huge. Huge in space. Oh, these guys are big too. Oh, we are we are not the big kids on the block I'd hope we were. Okay. Uh, how'd they feel? You must think us fools. You reject your offer. Okay. I don't know why you decided it was bad. You were on the you would have liked us. It was in your favor. But that's okay. Be that way, my friends. Have we landed yet in Tibor? I want my planet back. I really want my planet back. Gurr needs to hire one more army. Complete. There we go. Our troop transports have arrived. And they are sending down our troops. Evading hostile fleet. Where are we evading a hostile fleet? Uh, ancient mining drones. Another, another system with ancient mining drones in it. Way over here. Probably full of minerals. Okay. No biggie. Back to Tabor, though. And I want to save up 360 enemy minerals. Where are their enemy troops landing? Well, I don't know why it said enemy troops when we're the ones invading. Oh, so it might be because we're invading our own home? I don't know. Don't know. All right, so... Back here, we are invading. Let's see how we do. Alright, this is going to go quick. We're going to take this back. Regin, we're sending this single ship to come and bomb. What I think we're going to do is we're going to get a fifth... A fifth assault army out of Gur. That we're going to use to take back Regin Or Rijin, or however you pronounce it. Alright. Alright. We got Tibor Prime is back in the fold. Let's get... Let's repair everything that's been destroyed so far. Repair it. Repair. That's everything destroyed, repaired, and then let's clear out these tile blockers again. So what I'm going to do, I think our fleet is strong enough that we can we can go ahead and we can hold off as long as we fight near a space station. I think that will do the trick. So Oh, sorry for the pause there, folks. So what we will do is we will save up the 360 minerals that we need to build a spaceport here. And we'll build a spaceport. That will give us a spaceport in each border system that we can use to defend. What's going on here? Yeah, we really should be sciencing these. Go ahead and science those. Uh, Nautilus Squadron... You look to be in good shape. We can leave you there for now. Uh, actually, no. Let's have you make sure you're parked where the actual space station is currently so you can get repaired. 
That will work. So Tabor is back in the fold. Of course, we're losing some food now because all of these agricultural buildings were damaged. Which isn't so great, but, but, look at this. Look at this. We are back to being negative 29 for the, the war score. We might, I don't know how far it'll drop if we take this back. We'll find out. But that is very good. Very good. Woo! Scares me every time our ships come back. Have them get back into orbit. Oh, we have a new contact. We have received a communique from a previously unknown space marine empire that called themselves the Beldross League. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on communications of another empire we are in contact with. Interesting. These are hegemonic imperialists. What's that mean? They're egalitarian, xenophobic, of course, mil militarist. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, all right. Archon Hesk Sornus and the ruling council of the Beldross League have instructed me to bring you this warning. Keep your ridiculous looking alien ships well away from our space and know that our military will respond to any transgressions with maximum force. Well. Greetings. What does what does space look like now? Holy moly. Wow, we are behind. Holy moly. Look how big they are. Well, space is getting filled in, folks. Getting kind of worried, but we'll see what happens. The hive mind doesn't have many friends. I really wanted the Fafafsians to be our buddies. Huh. Hey, everybody seems to have a better army than us. Even though we are... Mash, we just gotta be real careful. We gotta be real careful. Okay, sorry folks. Got a little distracted there for a minute looking at that. Rajin is under bombardment. It's very slowly losing space there. Someone has sent us a closed border. Oh, the Bedros League. We have allowed you to move about freedom in our territory far too long. Today we draw the line. That's fine. You guys are so far up here that we don't even care. Like, that's not even... Doesn't even matter. Oh, I need them to be our friend. We need the Fafasian sovereignty to become our buddies. I'm just so glad we got Tabor back. Finally. And again, we're just waiting so we can build up a... a new space station. So that will be good. What's the surface look like here? Alright. Boo! Just taking a look at what's going on. Kind of difficult to plan everything out for all these territories. We definitely need to start expanding again. We are not, not growing fast enough. Oh, look at Tabor getting back up and running. Look at this. Get ready for this. Boom. Come on. Boom. Back up and going. Oh, that's great. I'm excited. I cannot wait to put another spaceport here. How's Regin look? Getting knocked down ever so slowly. Let's go ahead and send our... Analyzed. Uh, oh, Gur's not done building its armies yet. We finished up researching some debris from a battle, and we got some research points. Food is looking okay. Some space amoebas are there. We may have to go off and fight these space amoebas, and we'll put a colony here, too. 
Ooh. We still have stagnated from this war. System survey complete. And we're still holding off, just hoping that they don't... Who is this? Oh, the Quamarians. Okay, we're just kind of zooming around Quamarian space. That's fine. Ooh, actually, we're not, not doing junk. Get up here. Find out what's going on outside their space. I want to know if anybody lives here. At all. It would be nice to know. There we go. Speed up time a little bit. Keep an eye out for enemy fleets in our small empire area. We've encountered somebody. Oh! Look who it is! All right! It's the Ixadar Star Collective. It's our old buddies uh, who we played in our first ever Stellaris playthrough. Let's see what they have to say. We are the Ixadar Star Collective, minions of the wise overlord Dussel I. Our aim is to improve ourselves through the use of technology. Whether you agree with these goals or not, we trust you will remain amicable neighbors. They, underneath the new system, by the way, I went through and fixed them so they could exist. Oh, they look so... I, I just... They look so good. I miss you guys so much. Uh, they are despotic hegemony, uh, so they can have... They have slaver guilds and are aristocratic elite. They're slaving despots. Slave societies rely on military expansion to secure a steady supply of slaves from their mines and farms. They prefer to attack the weak and defenseless. If you remember last time, uh, we we spread out with them and took all kinds of different aliens as slaves. And they are fanatic authoritarian and materialists. Awesome! Debris analyzed. And we got some debris analyzed. Let's check that out here in just a second. All right, sorry for the little jump cut there. So let's see how Ixadar is doing. Ixadar is doing pretty good. Look at them. They have, they have definitely spread out quite a bit. Uh, let's see if we can't find their... Athrak is their... Ixathrak is their capital, if you remember. So it's good to see the Ixadari not doing too bad. They're not really bigger than us. So at least I don't play worse than the computer does as far as my own civilizations. I feel okay. Alright, so Tabor is back. We almost have enough to build our new... What's the word I'm looking for here? Our new spaceport. Tile blocker clear. So we'll get that going here. Science ship Izog uh, is done doing its research here. You know what? Have them just go back home and in fact... Oh, all kinds of stuff just happened. Hold on. Uh, the Yog, let's have you actually go here. And just go into orbit, orbit for a while. You won't be able to assist research, but... Well, have you go do that. Huh. Uh, the Alberton system has been uh, fully mapped out here in the middle of the Quirium Kingdom. We finished researching that debris, and Gur has finished recruiting its armies, so we can go ahead and take... What's going on here? We could upgrade this power plant. Do that in a bit. Uh, we can embark... Uh, Gur, this is only four armies. One army short on Gur. Well, that's gonna hold us up a bit. It's okay. We need one more army for Gur. What's this? The Darborian Remnant has declared war on the Ixadar Star Collective. Good job, guys. 
Did you seriously make the oh, the ancient people angry? Yes, you did. Well, Ixadar, you're gonna be in trouble. What's Ixadar look like here? Uh, Ixadar. They have a superior fleet to us. They're at war now with the, uh, the Sagna Ascendancy. We'll see how that turns out. Maybe they can weaken each other a bit. We are slowly building peace with our friends, the Uruxo Collective. Are we still sharing radar data, by the way, with them? Yes, we are. So we're still getting to get to see everything they can see, which is cool. All right. Well, let's see here. Back to Tabor. Back to speed and time along. System survey complete. Remember, 360 is our goal. We've met the Je Jehetma Coalition. We're fleshing out space. Oh! Oh, Jehetma. I represent the Jehetma Coalition. Our elected leader, Commissary General Vaglog, would have you know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Do not interfere in our affairs. They are democratic crusaders. It's their job to spread the democratic way of life to the world. They are a military commissariat. They hold an election every 10 years to select a new military ruler. And they run a police state. Where are they located? How big are they? Oh, they're tiny. They're this little guy right here. They own one planet. Well, they have spread their democracy nowhere. Good job, folks. Good job. Uh, 306, we're almost at the point. Where Tibor Prime can build that. How is Regime Prime's aerial assault going? Very slow. Don't go through their territory. Gotcha. I gotcha, space unmentionables. We will not enter your territory. I hate that, the look of that, that alien. All right. Has this grown? Yes. No, this is the same. I don't see any new colonies underneath their power. So that hasn't really grown. They're kind of out of our way too. Tile blocker cleared. The tile blockers on Evading hostile fleet. Tabor, what's going on here? More ancient mining drones. And Gur finished getting its last army recruited. Thank you, Gur. How about you? Eh, we'll just let him stay there until we're until we're done bombarding Regin Prime. It's going slow, but it's getting there. About one thing a day, so in about five years, we'll have that place back. If everything goes smoothly. Can we get a white piece out of these guys yet? No. Our navy strength. Their navy strength is so still a lot bigger than ours. Okay. Although, hey, we know we can do. Tabor Prime builds you a spaceport with missiles. Build that for me. That will give us some help there. All right, bit of a stalemate here. We're still at war. I really want to go to peace. Situation log updated. Ooh. Hold on, a couple things happening. Tile blocker cleared. Oh, so the Hejam Kingdom has declared the Hejam Citizen Compact. Oh, the Quarium Kingdom, and the Hejams are now rivals. That'll help. Non-aggressive pact between the Renar Imperium and the Quirium Imperium. Okay. It's fine. We have run into some weird vessels in the Sooth system. What's this look like? Get this out of here. What do these look like? Strange vessels? Those are weird-looking vessels. Look at those. All right, well, uh, let's investigate the Heth aliens. Of 
Aquarium and United Renar are now guaranteed together. That's fine. There's all this debris in the Hegis and Saura systems that we can't investigate. That's where we did a little bit of war. Right here is where all that is. So, Tabor. Space Station is going. They are clearing their tile blockers. We have the armies to send a Regin. Once we are done knocking its the fortifications back down. That's not a big enough increase to do it. But we may have to... Man, I wish we could send more fleets over there, but I'm afraid to. Oh well. So, what's this leave us with? The first Nautilus Squadron is a 1600 strength fleet. The second Nautilus, our little bombing squadron over here, is doing its job. I think we need to... Continue to expand our navy slightly, but we also need to grow. I think it is worth... What's on this tropical island system here? Can't survey it. Let's choose our next expansion, shall we? Let's grow this direction. So what do we see? Do we have any planets that are habitable? This is going to cause problems if we go there. It's going to cause a border conflict that we can't take right now. There's just really not much habitable at all, is there? No, not until we get some more terraforming. So with that in mind, we are going to have to go... Yep, this is going to be the next planet for us. So we're going to have to wipe out those space amoebas. So next episode, we'll wipe them out and we'll look at building a colony ship to send there as well. Folks, that'll be our plans when we return to space as the Great Mucus. And we continue our battle to maintain relevancy in the galaxy, folks. I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. And as always, we hope to see you soon.